And uh, and so we'll see. We'll see how heavy we are here in a minute. Here's the flying J. We'll go scale her up, and we'll see if we can find us a parking spot somewhere. And then, oh, it looks like there's several of them open over there. So might be able to go pull her in over there and park there. And I gotta send my paperwork in yet, so they can set up my border crossing yet too. I don't know why they didn't already do that, but I guess I didn't call them, so they probably figured, yeah, well, he's going to call us when he's ready, right? So anyways, let's go fuel her up over here, and then uh, we'll see you guys soon. I later. have finished doing all my business there at the Flying J. We fueled, we scaled the load. And I decided, you know what, since I'm feeling there, may as well go inside and take a shower. So, that's exactly what we did. Went inside, out of some very much shower, nice shower. And, uh, yeah, the, the, the load was perfect. I guess the, whoever brought the load into the yard had uh, left a trailer axle all the way at the back. So I slid it to where I thought it would be good. And man, was it ever good. It was like 100% equal with the drives and the trailer. You could not ask for anything better. I was sitting at uh, 32,160 pounds on each axle on the drives and trailer. I've never had it that close. Never, ever. That is very nicely loaded. So, now we got all that done. Now we're back at it again. Oh wow, looks like they got somebody over here. Not sure what happened here, but looks like somebody is broke down or something. That's not good. Oh well, anyways, we're uh, looking at the radar there before we took off to see what the weather is doing. You always gotta keep an eye on that, right? When you're a truck driver because you gotta kind of know what's happening, right? And it uh, looks like we will be running into some rain here uh, later on yet. It looks like there's a massive system that's reaching all the way from as far south in the United States all the way up here into Canada. And uh, further north there is even a mixture of rain and snow and ice and all that mixture stuff there looks like our, around Ottawa and all that it looked like it was going on right now so I'm glad I'm not going north I tell you that much it's only five degrees Celsius right now so 
gets any cooler it could get snow could get snow over here but anyways my border crossing and everything is good uh, good to go now I had to also f uh, send my uh, paperwork in yet because apparently they hadn't done it yet so uh, that's good at least that didn't take very long now we're all good to go only thing we haven't done is eat breakfast I'm thinking about pulling into one of those rest areas up here uh, whatever they call it service plazas they got Tim Hortons in there I'm thinking about going in there and having me a good Timmy so I haven't had one all week even though I've been in here a couple of times in this area alrighty here we go we have stopped at this uh, pullover area rest area slash rest area or whatever we're gonna go inside and have us some Timmy's what do you guys think good idea or what all right here we are having us a good sandwich a cup of coffee look at the Starbucks over there like almost no lineup right look over there at the Tim Hortons look at the lineup over there man that's a long lineup compared to the Starbucks eh? alrighty guys it's time to get out of here I think we wasted enough time in here had us our good old Tim Hortons cup of coffee and our sandwich and of course we had to have a Boston cream donut yeah they're really nice I know uh, 42 Northside's uh, grandson there he's probably jealous that I had me some Boston cream I know he likes it wow it looks like it's starting to drizzle yeah that's exactly what I've been suspecting now eventually we will start running into a rainstorm somewhere and looks like it's starting right now oh well nothing I can do about it right all we're gonna do is continue on we're sitting in a dry cab right <laughs> as of right now anyways I haven't noticed any leaks <laughs> That's a good thing, right? I don't want to get wet in here. But yeah, we're uh, we're just cruising right on along here now. We only got about 47 kilometers, I believe, up to where Windsor starts, and then uh, we got a little bit onto the border yet. But uh, I would say 45 minutes, we should be at the border. That's not bad. We'll be in the United States of America here before you know it. And they got this whole section, uh, big sections under here under construction. So that's good though. At least the road will be good. I mean, it's not bad at the point right now, but then again, they're just maintaining it, right? That's good. That's what I like to see. And they should do more of this on the way home when I go from Toronto home should do a lot of more construction there too but it's a long process I guess uh oh uh oh uh oh looks like these guys are getting pulled over looks like they got two smoky bears up here in the construction zone looks like they're pulling people over yeah that's why you gotta follow the law follow the speed limit that way you go and you don't get yourself in trouble I didn't actually see him actually pull uh, put the lights on so not 100% sure if that person got pulled over or not but they're definitely sitting out here that's for sure I guess it's a perfect time on the Sunday right nobody's really working out here but it's a construction zone right you're supposed to go slower they uh, a lot of a lot of people they keep just hammer down through here right that's why they get caught. What did I tell you guys earlier? We were gonna run into some rain. That's exactly what I figured we would. And now we are in Michigan already. We have crossed the border. Yeah, rough road here again. Hey, well, that's okay. I'm thinking about making me a pit stop here pretty soon because, uh, well, says I gotta take a half an hour break here in two hours and 40 minutes I guess but there really ain't too much further 
further down the road that I I like and I know this one truck stop here at exit 110 they got a pretty decent restaurant in there and I'm thinking about going in there and having me some lunch or something and taking me my half an hour break that's what I'm thinking about doing and then I'm also thinking about possibly doing a live show yeah I haven't done a live show in a good while and uh, I have no video for today if you look back seven days ago I didn't have no video because this video is gonna be released in seven days right so I'm thinking about doing me a live show let's get to do them every once in a while people kind of like that you know then you can interact with me more personally and I can try and answer questions and we can have a kind of like a one-on-one -on -one kind of type of conversation right so that's, I enjoy doing that and I would like to do that more often sometimes but sometimes you know I'm limited to internet and stuff like that so sometimes it's kind of difficult to do that but now since we switched over to this Verizon phone now I can do Wi-Fi tethering and it's supposed to be pretty decent speed so I tested it the other day and it was good speed so I might have to try it again and find out what my speeds are and if the speeds are good I might do a live show there find out if people want to join me on the live show and have a good conversation don't know what exactly we're going to talk about but hey give it a shot find out what happens right on a live show it's basically you get on there and you never know what happens anything can happen any kind of conversations can come up but yeah anyways uh we'll continue on we're up in uh michigan like i said on i-94 heading westbound to our delivery Pearl Street, Illinois. i have just finished doing my live show ladies and gentlemen now we're back at it again and of course now it's starting to rain oh well that's all right I hope you guys enjoyed that live show I know you guys are gonna say well that was seven days ago but hey I hope you gave it a thumbs up and shared it try and join in next time if you haven't hit that little bell there for the notification do me a favor and do so then you will be notified next time I upload a video or I do a live show that's what it's all about if you hit that bell then you will be notified and you can't say well I'm sorry I missed your show well you ain't gonna miss it no more unless you don't have your phone around you will be notified via an email yeah anyways it's not really raining hard it's just a slight drizzle it looks like and apparently it was a good thing I stopped over there at the truck stop because uh, another penner was coming in there as well and I kind of know him a little bit we were talking there just as I started my live show there and and he said that uh, he, he pulled in there because uh, he heard on the radio that just down the road here supposedly there was an accident so uh, he decided to pull in there and wait a little bit till the accident uh, was cleaned up and stuff so I didn't even know about it <laughs> I didn't have my I had my radio on for a good while but I never heard anything so I must have missed it but anyways it is starting to get a little bit darker here and it is probably because of the clouds not really because it's that late it's just because it's kind of a little bit cloudy and it's trying to rain but I think we're going to go ahead and go up to uh, exit 12 again to the TA and we'll call it a day over there well guys we made it back to our usual spot here at the TA in Michigan at exit 12 <laughs> seems like this is becoming a regular truck stop where we stop at on a, on a daily basis almost it seems like here the last few days anyways but uh, I've had me a good night's sleep I added a couple of videos there last night and uh, then I had me a good night's sleep now it's the next morning and we have gotten some rain again overnight still kind of cloudy but uh, it's 
not really raining anymore so uh, anyways we gotta get our new day started here and go deliver our load so I uh, appreciate you guys watching my today's vlog stick around for tomorrow and see what we're up to tomorrow all right have a good one everybody